Praise God. Okay. Um, I need to go back to the book of Isaiah. I got that three minutes. When you get to the book of Isaiah, um, this is going to be easy. Let's go first. Oh, you know what I need you to do first? I need you to go to Exodus real fast. Sorry about that. Let's go to Exodus. Chapter 4, verse 22. Because I've got to keep connecting Israel to Yeshua. Because, see, they think they suffered on their own. But Jesus chose to suffer. Yeah. They, you didn't suffer on your own. There came a forerunner before Israel who said, I will suffer and go through the third of the death first to show you because I am going to punish you right. in Gomer. I am going to punish you in Ashkenaz. But you have to understand something. I am going to do it first. So Jesus Christ died on the cross first. Now, in Exodus chapter 4, verse 22, it says, Then say to Pharaoh, God is talking to Moses, Say to Pharaoh, this is what the Lord says. Israel is my firstborn son. And I told you, let my son go so he may worship me. But you refuse to let him go so I will kill your first child. Your firstborn. Now he says to Pharaoh to let my first son Israel go. Now, in the Brit Hadashah 316 of John, right? What does it say? God. For God so loved the world that he gave what? His only begotten son. So Israel is being called the son of God. And Yeshua is being called, is being called the son of God. One is begotten. One is adopted. But they're both the firstborn or the first sons of God. But they're going through the same turmoil in life. Let's go back to Isaiah now. Good work, Adam. I want to tell of another example. There is a man named Joseph in the Old Testament. And Joseph had 12 brothers. And his 12 brothers, we're talking about the beginning of the Jewish nation, the 12 sons of Jacob. And Joseph is one of the sons. One of the brothers named Judas, well, Judah is the one who decided, let's sell this brother of ours for silver. So Judah is the one who said, Let's get money for him. In the new, the Brit Hanashah, Judas is the one who says, let's get money for him. Mm -hmm. So you see that both are being sold for silver in the Tanakh and in the Brit Hanashah. Yeah. So you, they, see, at some time, and we're doing this because I'm going to give this DVD to uh, Rabbi uh, Esau uh, Marcus, and I'm going to say, don't open it because we're leaving. But when we leave and you hear about a church has been gone, your friend, the church is gone from the world, I want you to open this envelope and yeah. I want you to look at this yeah. because a false messiah is going to come and a false messiah is going to preach to you yeah. that he's the messiah and he's going to build you a temple. Yeah. And if you don't be careful, you'll begin to think that he's God. Amen. But he's not. He's a false messiah. But because you haven't read the Red Hot Shah, you don't understand that this is a false antichrist yes, Messiah. Yes. This new temple, this new uh, covenant that he's going to present to you is only going to bring you grief and sorrow after three and a half years. Because he's going to stop your sacrifice. 
He's going he, he, to uh, bring war against the land of Israel. And then that son Joseph, who the 12 brothers sold for silver and threw him in a hole, he's going to be the one, Yahshua is going to be the one to come back and rescue you and forgive you for what the people say, you killed Jesus. But you didn't kill Jesus because you can't kill the author of life. Hallelujah. This is a plan. You just have to be part of the plan that brings salvation to all of mankind. Yeah. Now, you will be richly rewarded for your hard service. This is a hard service. Yeah. To be kicked out of every nation that you lived in. Woo. To be beaten up in every nation that you lived in. To continue being harassed all the way up to 2010, bombs and missiles coming. You gotta have uh, bomb shelters at your schools because you don't know when these crazy people are gonna bomb your kids. Yeah. yeah. So you have to understand something. The, the, the service you have offered to mankind is hard. We understand that. And we say thank you yeah. to every Jewish person. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. But you don't understand the Red Hot Shah. We're going to leave. The Christians are about to leave the earth. And you have to understand that a false Messiah is about to be presented to you. The virgin gave birth to a son. And his name was Yahshua. His name is, in your scripture, in the book of Isaiah, you said, call him Emmanuel. Now, if you're Jewish, you know there's no such name as Emmanuel. We, in English, call our kids Emmanuel because we think it was a name. Yeah. <laughs> Emmanuel means God is with us. Yeah. So when the son that is born to Mary arrives in the earth, you will call him God is with us. Yeah. He will tabernacle with you. So Yeshua was with you. And when he told you of his greatness, and he told you that he was a king, the same as Joseph said, look, I am going to reign and rule over my brothers. You sold him for silver, had him thrown in a hole, but yet he's going to come back yeah. and forgive you in the valley of just yeah. Yeah. Let's turn to Isaiah 53 and finish up. There's a blind girl in you, Israel. There's a blind girl in you. The Lord has put this blind girl in you. You are too smart of a people to not understand the Brit Hadashah. How can you not link the fact that the Lamb died on the 14th of Nisan to bring you out of Egypt? And not link it to the fact that Yahshua, Jesus Christ, was killed on the 14th of Nisan to bring us out of the slavery of sin. Amen. How could you not link that? You're too smart of people not to link that. So now that you're in the middle of the tribulation and all of this, it's time to start linking the two so you find out who the real Messiah is. Yes, yes, yes. We're in the book of Isaiah chapter 53. 